Hi folks, welcome. As you probably know here on my channel, I really love to recycle all the things and make other stuff. So to do this, I have to cut pieces and make them fit to the, together precisely. I can use this old Dremel, but still works okay, has a speed control here and it's very old, was from my grandfather. There I have an also another cheaper one and this in front of it have a very long probe that spin as well and I can use this much more precisely on small pieces so my goal of today is to make something like this much more powerful and just recycling things maybe from a uh, washing machine so let's get started so just the other week I was driving the car and next to the garbage I found the washing machine so very quickly just in the middle of the street I dismount the motor and I found a brushed motor and so maybe you can also take inspiration here on the back there's a speed controller uh, sensor so every time the motor spins there are magnets and a sensor that take the signal so you can take inspiration in, and connect it to a computer that can use these signals but I will use another method I will show you later I bought on Aliexpress these very cheap extensions for drills it's very well made and I I'm sure it can handle without problems the power of the motor so the idea is to connect the part to the motor so let's see better how these things are made I was telling you it's very well made, I can feel that there, are ball, that there are ball bearings inside, so let's measure the parts. This thing measures almost 6 mm, so I can take a drill bit that has almost the same dimension and drill a little hole just here precisely in the middle. I take much care about making the hole precisely in the middle, otherwise it will shake everything, so I'm quite happy on the result. Now, let's take a marker and mark four dots here on the part of the motor um, and drill them. It's very easy because it's made in aluminum, so just be careful, don't drill too hard, otherwise we will ruin the coils, the copper coils that are, that are inside. So I made in wood these little parts that fit precisely on the holes and also is centered in with the shaft of the motor. I can use four bolts to secure the thing inside and this is how it looks like. Now, the, the tricky part is to connect the, the little part of the extension here inside. I was thinking to make a, like a key, a keyway on, uh, on the part, but it's very hard, stainless steel, and I cannot machine it, so the, <laughs> even if it's ugly, the best solution is just to weld it in place. I just checked with the magnifying glass and I'm pretty sure that these welds will hold up without problems. So the inner rotor will go nowhere, but if I turn the motor on right now, I have a big problem. The outside part of the extension will start to spin with the motor as well, and this is not what we want. We have to keep the outside straight and sturdy, so I cut a wood part using my bent saw, and I can use this to secure it and squeeze the aluminum part secure together. So this is the solution. So now probably you are wondering which type of motors you can find inside a washing machine. There are three types, but today I'm talking just about the two most common ones. So this is the old version, the much common motor you can find inside a washing machine. And is the one I love the most because it's very easy to control. It's also cheap to control and to hack. And you can, you can change direction of the motor and you have two speed because there are two coils inside the motor, so it's very easy and you can understand very quickly how to hack the motor. So you can control the direction of the motor using a capacitor like this one. Depending on which side we connect the electricity, we can also change the direction of the motor. The other thing we can do is just connect uh, cables to two coils. We have a high RPM coil that is like 1000 rpm and we have also a low rpm coil that is like 500 rpm so this is very easy and you can just connect it this way if the one of before was an induction motor this instead is a brush motor is much faster it will reach 15,000 rpms it sounds crazy also the sound itself seems like a jet engine 
and it's very scary also to use. I need absolutely to control the voltage and the speed of it. So let me talk about the, real, the original connection of the motor. This is the connector of the motor and you can connect the speed controller sensor here, electricity flow through the coil and this is how to power the motor originally. So if you connect ele electricity to the motor, it will, it will start to spin at full speed all the time. There's no way to control the speed of the motor. Even changing the voltage that goes to the motor doesn't change the RPM of it. So even if you give 50 volts or 220 volts, the RPM stays the same. So I need to think something to control the voltage. Originally there was like a sensor that can detect the speed of the motor and give input to a computer we can do the same thing by a chimp component or Amazon and is a frequency generator controller that you can with this device you can control many things the voltage the ampere the frequency so you have absolute control of this kind of motor so told you yeah I told you it will sound like a jet engine and consider that this is not at full power because I'm using it with the little computer at 50 Hertz as a maximum frequency but consider that the computer can push and step up the frequency to 400 Hertz which will bring the motor to 120,000 RPM which is crazy I will not do it because I'm very scared about it I will not make the motor explode and uh, can be very dangerous so just consider this keep the frequency low at your needs and don't make crazy things with it so I will use it for my future projects so if you want to stay tuned I leave you here my Instagram so you can follow him follow me there and I also put links about all the things you can buy the motor, the drill chuck and uh, the probe and everything here below, so check them out if you're going to replicate the project, so tag me on Instagram at this point I leave you here next to me, the previous project, check them out, ciao ciao